US players before here on the show. Pero ano nga ba sila? Sino nga ba sila? Here's a report from Albert Bataclan. Sabay na mga salita at notang inaawit, kalaki pa ang mga indayog at galaw na nagpapaligaya sa atin ay ang selebrasyon at pagunita sa talento at kultura nating mga asyano, lalong-lalo na ang pantaigdigang galing nating mga Pinoy. Dito sa Los Angeles, ang East-West Players ang natatanging organisasyong sibiko ang nangunguna sa pagpapamalas ng yaman at walang kapantay na galing ng ating lahi. Ang East-West Players ay isa sa mga pinakaprominenting Asian American Theater Organizations dito sa Los Angeles. Mula pa noong 1965, ito na ang isa sa mga pinakaunang Asian American Theaters na natayo dito sa Amerika. Ang East-West Players ay patuloy pa ding nagbibigay ng mga educational programs na nagbibigay boses sa ating Asian American experience. Kasalukuyan, ang kanilang tahanan, ang David Henry Huang Theater ay itinaguyod noong 1998 sa pamumuno ng kanilang producing artistic director na si Tim Dang. Ang kanilang teatro is housed within the Historic Union Center for the Arts in downtown Los Angeles, Little Tokyo District na nagsisalbe to over 10,000 people taon-taon. Ilan sa kanilang mga natatanging produksyon ay hinubog para sa panlasa nating mga Pinoy. Mga programa tulad ng Imelda the Musical, The Three Filipino Tenors, The Last Five Years, Marry Me a Little, and Butterfly, at kasalukuyan ang Road to Saigon. Taunan din nilang dinaraos ang kanilang gala at dinner na kamakailan lamang ay dinalohan natin kasama na ng mga pinakaprominenting mga Asian Americans sa telebisyon, pelikula, teatro at iba pang sektor upang ipagdiwang ang ganda at kulay ng kultura natin bilang mga Asian Americans. I think theater is actually the best place to grow artists, especially artists of a particular background in order to tell their stories, their own unique, very um, diverse, um, specifically ethnic sometimes stories, or just provide opportunities and, uh, opportunities and experiences for Asian American or Asian American um, Pacific Islander performers to get up on stage and say these words and be in leading roles and have those um, chances to really sparkle and shine. Why I really think that uh, it's certainly much better than it was 5, 10, 15 years ago as far as the presence of Asian Americans and Asians in the media are concerned, but it's not happening fast enough, if you ask me. I think it'll happen over time. I think indeed people are getting used to seeing Asian Americans in the media and all the various platforms, television, film, direct video games, music. Um, I think it's great. And I also think that the globalization of the entertainment business is going to be knocking down a lot of walls. Um, as far as being specifically with the Filipino music, I mean, there, because there has been so many influences that came into the country, it's not quite Western, it's not quite Eastern, it's, a, it's sort of a hybrid and a really nice uh, fusion of so many things, which, which pretty much is reflective of the culture. So I think it's, it's all those things combined that make it really special. He must have played it all. Ongoing production, Road to Saigon, featuring three Filipinas na nagplay po ng role ng Kim sa musical na Miss Saigon. So panoorin niyo po sila, catch them. Last few days remaining, it's only till June 13th. Meanwhile, from downtown Los Angeles sa East West Players' home to Road to Saigon, ngayon naman silipin natin ang Taiwan. First stop of the day is the Martyr Shrine and apparently all the other tourists here today in Taiwan got the memo because they're all here waiting for the changing of the guards that happens every hour of the hour and we have more history for you today on the show.
Shrine is one of the most revered places in Taipei, the city of Taiwan. This was built in 1968 by the government of the Republic of China in honor of the people, the soldiers who risked their lives and died before and after the establishment of the Republic of China. They were all under the camp, of course, of revolutionary leader Chiang Kai-shek. And Republic of China is now commonly known as Taiwan. but scary but it's okay because they don't bite actually they can't do anything they just stand here for an hour they can't even change her facial expression but I'm gonna miss them it's okay though our next stop is the National Palace Museum once upon a limited time far far away